This golfer's putter is almost 20 years old and you won't believe it until you see it. Hey and welcome to What's in Your Bag Golf. This is Jalen. Today I am with Brad at Tee Shots, which is kind of like a top golf place here in the Kansas City metro area. I met up with him on a rainy day and got to film his bag, so I hope you enjoy. Remember, stay until the very end and I'll chime in with my favorite part of Brad's bag. Okay, so I'm here today at Tee Shots, having a really nice uh, morning, late morning, early afternoon with Brad, and Brad's agreed to be on the channel, so how are you doing today, Brad? I'm doing outstanding. It's a great day to be here uh, when it's out raining and this and be protected and warm all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We're having a good time at Tee Shots. So, Brad, you were telling me off camera about how you got into golf. Can you kind of share your background? I know you have a fascinating background. Uh, you know, you used to be a pilot, now you're retired. So, can you tell us a little bit, of, a little bit about that? Yeah, so I started off, uh, my first golfing experience was when I was flight training in the military. Uh, I was going through Navy flight training down in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, we had, you have intense periods where you're like really busy for a few weeks and then you have maybe a few days off or a week off, stuff like that. So my fellow pilots would go out golfing just for something entertaining to do. I did it with them just because I want to hang out with my friends. Yeah. And, uh, and so that's kind of got me into golf. And pre-kids, I did this pre-kids, so I had the time to do it, killing time, my wife was working, something to do during the day. Yeah. Then when I got uh, kids, got away from golf and didn't play for like 20 years, uh, the kids moved out, graduated from college. I have time in my hands now, and I like I, I want to get back into doing something competitive at my older age. And yeah. so I got back into golf about a year and a half ago, and I've just just really been loving it. Get back yeah. into it. How often do you get to play? Um, it's weather dependent. If, yeah. if it's you know if the weather's nice, I'll play uh, probably three or four times a week. Okay. Uh, during the summer and stuff like that. And it just depends on what we have going on. Mm -hmm. But um, my goal last year was to get 50 rounds in and I got 66 rounds in. Okay, so you beat that by a lot. Yeah, and then this year my goal is for 60 and I think we got, we got like nine rounds in this year. So okay, I'm, I'm, a good start. I'm tracking right. <clears throat> Especially once it starts to get warmer, I'm sure you're gonna be out there exactly. all the time. Yeah, where's the next place that you're, you're wanting to play? Next place? Yeah, like, yeah, next time, next place. I know you said you're going to play tomorrow. But. Yeah, I'm going to play tomorrow uh, at Charles West out in Lentworth, but uh, uh, on Thursday I'm flying to San Diego, and I'll, yeah. I'll do a lot of golf out in San Diego. Mm -hmm. uh, on the beach there at North Island on Coronado, and yeah. then Coronado Island, there's two golf courses there I'll plan on hitting up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, a dream, I think the dream golfing is try to get out to Scotland, right? And, okay. And do some, some St. Old, Andrews. old courses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the dream courses, but that's uh, the future in the future. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, let's get to your bag. Let's okay. get to your equipment. Uh, let's start at the top end of your bag like we normally do. So driver, what do you, what do you play? It? So I, I play with uh, 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 Callaway Epic Max uh -huh. and I got that um, went down to a fitting down with Galaxy um, Sports. Yeah. And or Galaxy Golf and just uh, hit a bunch of different things. They did a lot of measurements. And uh, that one is the one that the Epic Max, the one that seemed to be the most consistent and, and farthest for me. Granted, that was a year and a half ago. I don't know. Maybe it's different by now. But uh, yeah. yeah. What were the other contenders that when you when you do you remember like the other ones that it was pitted yeah, against? I, yeah, I tried Ping and I tried the uh, Cobra uh -huh. and uh, one other. I can't, I'll tell them, I can't remember. But the four main ones they they, they kind of pushed me towards. Yeah. Yeah, and then that one won out by a lot, or was it kind of marginal? Uh, it was this and the ping were, were pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I went this one just because it was, it was newer okay. and, and just something different because everything else I have is ping, and I've, I've come to the ping brand loyal, maybe to a fault. Yeah, just mix it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay, and you've been happy with it so far? Yeah, yeah, it's been really nice. How far does that usually go for you? For me, uh, a good drive, probably at 210. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah. So my average, my average is probably about 190. But okay. if, if I get a, a good hold of it, I'll get 210 out of it. Nice, okay. So your second longest club, moving from your driver, that looks like a three wood, right? Uh, yes, <clears throat> and unfortunately that's a Cobra. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, was same thing, golf fitting. Mm -hmm. And uh, different day, uh, same concept though. Tried out a bunch of ones, which I don't remember all of them, but uh, that one's what the one that was most consistent when they, they're tracking everything. Yeah. And it seems like I got the most distance on it. And just, you know, a lot of us feel, it just felt really good to me when I was hitting it. Yeah. And unfortunately it's kind of my, my uh, probably my favorite club, just because I use it all the time. Because I, I don't hit very far. Sure. It always seems my second shot is going to be my, my three wood. Do you use that off tee as well? Like if you have to tee off I on a 
do. Shorter par four? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll use on some par threes too, just not as big a swing. But if, I, if I've got a you know 180 or a 190 par uh, par, three. par three, then I'll just yeah, I'll just let's try this and try to get it. You know, at least I probably won't get to the green, but at least I keep it. You know, somewhere I can yeah. I can see the ball. Yeah. So your your three wood goes maybe like around 180. Is that yeah, kind of probably kind of what you expected? Yeah. Yep. Yep. yeah. That's, that's uh, my that's where I plan on it. I plan on my, my three wood going 180. My okay. Goals. And then from there, moving on to your five wood. I'm curious, did you get separately fitted for your five wood, or did you just kind of pick up the same one? Picked them up same time. Yeah. 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 And I think I got, I got fitted for the three wood, and I just went ahead and grabbed the five wood. I don't know if I just swung with it. Yeah, yeah. So that that five wood is the same brand, same model. Basically, yep. just said, hey, give me the same thing with a different loft. Exactly. Okay. Very cool. Yep. And then how how far does that one go? Probably about 165. Is pretty consistent. 165. Okay. And then you hit that off the tee as well, or usually not? Uh, I do. Uh, not par threes. I don't practice. It. Yeah, par threes again. I don't practice enough. It's something that will give me a little more loft on something. If I've got you know 160, 170 on a par three, uh -huh. it gives me a little more loft for it. Okay. And then you'll hit that off the ground. I'm sure a lot, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So going from you, know, so you have three woods at the top of the bag. Yep. Right, and then you start moving into irons. What are your irons? Uh, pings. Uh, so I got the the pings uh, G forty four twenty five. Mm -hmm. I love them. Uh, they're very forgiving. They feel great. Like when you get a, you can really feel it. when you get a, the sweet spot and you feel the sweet spot. And it just it just feels really good when you hit that ball. Which part of love of golf, right? I mean, I don't get very uh, low scores, but my love of golf is when you get that one good, sweet shot, and it just feels so good all through your body, all through your vibe. You just see it just go, you know, the distance, stuff like that, go where you want to. It just yeah. makes you want it. You know, one every nine holes, I get that shot. And yeah, makes you want keeps to come you back coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you'd just be... It's quick yeah. golf or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Cool. So they, and all these, all my paintings, I really feel like that. They're, they're the caddy back, very forgiving and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Very nice. Did you get fitted for those as well? I did. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you got fitted for basically you're saying everything except for your putter, right? Yes. Okay. So you go from ping. So you got your woods at the top. You got ping, four iron, all the way to lob wedge. Yes. So I, I kind of want to ask you about that because you have four ping G425 wedges, right? So you have lob wedge, sand wedge. You have your, your uh, utility wedge, kind of the gap wedge and then the pitching wedge, right? Yeah. So tell us about like your decision to just get 425 all throughout the set and maybe not get a wedge fitting. So is that yeah. kind of what happened? Yeah, so I think uh, part, part of me is where I'm at my golf journey, I'm not that experienced to, to know, you know, what kind of, what are the better wedges are, stuff like that. For me, I'm just trying to keep consistent right now. I can yeah. I figure when I get more, uh, more experience and start getting better contact and better skill set, mm -hmm. I can, you know, start playing around with other stuff. Right now, I'm just kind of going for consistency in everything I do. Mm -hmm. If I get consistent, then I, know, I can figure out what I need to work on. But if I had a totally different set of, of wedges, I feel like, yeah, to compared learn. to my pings, I hit my wedges well and not my pings well, then, then yeah. what's my problem? Yeah. Do you feel like you're sacrificing anything by going, you know, something that is cavity backed all the way down to your wedge, like the feel or anything like that, or they feel just as good as everything they else? They feel the same. Yeah. yeah, they feel the same. So no, I don't feel there's any sacrifice. And and Grant, I'm not. I don't have the skill set to make. Uh, you know, I see some of the tour players do things with the golf ball are just pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if these clubs could do it or not. I, I don't know if it's because they're just really good skill set or it's a club thing. But I'm not at that skill level yet. You know, yeah. and I can't make my clubs do that yet. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so going lob wedge, and then you got one of the most unique putters that we've had on the channel. Uh, you got uh, that's really it's eye catching. Everyone loves my doc. I, it's interesting. Everyone loves my doc. They give me a hard time about it. So that's yeah. just really interesting. But man, I love it. It's uh, it's big and archaic. Yeah, and, it's huge. Uh, and it's kind of like me. Yeah, Forget archaic. <laughs> So with that one, um, how, how does that feel? I mean, I, I, I was putting it down by the golf ball, kind of filming it a little bit earlier. How does that how does that feel off the face? Like, is it really forgiving? I know you're just kind of getting into the golf hole of MOI and all that kind of stuff that you're yes, telling yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I would imagine that's super forgiving. Can you hit it anywhere across the face and you kind of get the same results? Like, tell me about that. It's, it is. I, th I feel it's very forgiving as far as like it has a, a big sweet spot. Um, it doesn't have much feels I like, and, and I'm getting to the point now. Where I'm actually in the um, in the stage where I'm, I need to get a new putter, yeah. and I'm going to start looking for a new putter. It's, um, I think I'm at that skill set where I can. It doesn't give me the feel or the feedback that I want when I'm hitting it. But that being said, it's, it's been very consistent for me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's been very consistent for me. I, I love that part of it, but I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to try out new technology and, and yeah. new new putter. So you're gonna go get fitted for a, a putter, I maybe will. maybe this year. 
Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. this year, if not within the next few months. Okay, are you gonna, are, are there any other part of your bag a candidate for some change or anything like that? Uh, you, you, you think about a new driver now, or are you thinking about anything else, or are you gonna kind of keep it consistent except for your putter? I, I, I've actually <laughs> thought about the, the driver concept because I, I feel like my swing has improved quite a bit, so mm -hmm. I'd be curious if I had a different driver. I feel like, even though I don't hit very far, I feel like I should be hitting farther. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I don't know if that's a driver thing or a skill set thing. Mm. So I have toyed with the concept of getting a new driver. Um, but right now, I, I really need to work my short game. My putting and my chipping, uh, law which all this stuff, I, I, can, I can improve my game score-wise so much more with my short game than I can with the driver right now. So, so yeah, I guess the biggest candidate right now for me is a putter and anything that's going to help my short game. Yeah. Okay, and what about just your, your the bag itself? I see it's is it a, is it a Sun Mountain bag? Is that kind of what you have or is yeah Sun Mountain bag? And I went with a, a cart bag because I because um, I have some medical issues, so I can't uh, walking is out for uh -huh. me nowadays. Yeah. So uh, so everything's gonna be cart for me. So I want something, and I've got a lot of it's like my home away from home here. I've got a, you know a speaker in here and, and cigar holders and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, my home away from home. I can just throw a bunch of stuff in it and, mm -hmm. and go. Yeah. You got any special the, you play a certain ball, uh, or are you gonna just play whatever you I do actually. I, I have two that I, I'm about to pull <clears throat> Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. So I have two that I, are kind of my specialties. Um, I my Callaway Supersoft. I've, I've kind of uh, yeah. really gotten a, a love for them. Mm -hmm. So when I get a new box and, and mark them up right away with my put my B on it. For so everyone knows when they when they find a ball out there, it'll be yeah. on it. It's probably me. Yeah, another, it's one of the ten I lost that <laughs> yeah. day. Uh -huh. um, so Callaway, I really enjoy these for the feel of them. Mm -hmm. and they're very forgiving, I feel. But then I've really gotten into the Kirkland range. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've done a lot of research on those, and uh, I really enjoy the way they hit and stuff like that. Uh, so if, if it depends on my mood. If I, if I feel a name brand, I feel like you know, kind of snooty. I'll throw them out the call it Callaways. If yep. I'm just, I just want to hit a ball and, and, and enjoy myself. I'll, just get I'll a Kirkland. The Kirkland. That's yeah. cool. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for being on the channel. I really appreciate this and, and just having a great time with you here at Tee Shots. Yeah, it's been fun meeting you. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, and thanks for watching until the end. I'm sure that you could already guess that my favorite part of Brad's bag is definitely his putter. Now this Ping Dock putter actually came out in 2004 and there was actually a version that they had that was bigger. This is the Dock 15 and there was the Dock 17 which was even larger than this one if you would uh, if you would imagine. So I love old vintage, vintage things like that. Uh, so I thought that that was really cool that he's still using it. As you heard in the video, he's probably going to switch it out and turn to something else. So thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet, make sure you go back to the video posted on February 11th for your chance to enter a giveaway, which is a fitting. If you're in the KC Metro area, then your fitting is going to be with Luke Wood. I'm going to contribute $100 towards whatever you get fitted for, $100 for the equipment that you're going to that you're going to get. If you're not in the Kansas City area and you win the fitting, I'm just going to uh, set up a fitting for you at your your uh, at a place of your choice. So enter by April 1st, 2023 for your chance to win that win that prize. Thanks for watching.